If you wanna be crypto savvy, we can help you skip those valleys. Let's rally, yeah. If you wanna be crypto savvy, we can let it. Welcome back to Be Crypto Savvy. I hope everybody's having an awesome weekend. At least here where I'm at, I'm in Michigan. The weather is amazing. Also, we've got snow on Monday, which is a is a typical uh, Michigan deal. 80 degrees and two days later, snow. All right, so today what I want to do is I'm going to jump into the Genie.io range report and cover Bitcoin. And then tomorrow I'm going to cover Ethereum. There's some things going on with Ethereum that I'm uh, curious on how that'll uh, end up looking. So I'm going to wait and do Ethereum tomorrow. As far as Bitcoin, let's jump right on into this video not waste any time today news and events healthy bitcoin rally what does a margin lending ratio drop mean for bitcoin price individual behind the three and a half billion dollar silk road bitcoin theft was sentenced to a year in prison that doesn't seem like a bad uh you know if if you're only going to get sentenced to a year but you the possible upside is three and a half billion i don't know True USD, Bitcoin's trading volume, nears tethers on Binance. That's really interesting because uh, ever since the uh, the Binance USD, BUSD, was uh, taken out, uh, tether has been a very dominant force in the uh, stablecoin sector. Uh, so true USD catching up is pretty interesting. Uh, Bitcoin is the boring old grandpa right now compared to Ether. I don't know about that, but hey, whatever. All right. Bitcoin on the ticker at the time of recording is still sitting over that $30,000 level. If you caught our video from Friday, uh, we were saying that we were thinking we'd probably be hovering right around that $30,000 level, possibly just underneath it. Uh, catch that video if you didn't get a chance to see it. I'll throw it up in the top right corner right now, as a matter of fact. Moving on to the Bitcoin volatility forecast opportunity zone and relative value. I'm pretty interested in how this ends up playing out. You can see that it looks like we should see a slight pullback going into the week. Uh, this is Wednesday right here. So about midweek Wednesday it looks like not only should we get a little bit of a turnaround after that pullback but it looks pretty steep as well so we'll, we'll have to see uh, the update throughout the week and keep an eye on that but you know this is a possible a really good entry point to look forward to whether you are uh, you know dollar cost averaging or you know more of an in and out trader so if you're interested, the link is always in the description. So let's keep on moving. Uh, candles we're not going to spend a lot of time on. Uh, the, hour, the hourly RSI as well as the daily RSI, if you caught Friday's video, uh, we were uh, kind of right in this area. And, you know, just basically we're looking for a, a weekend of sideways trading or even a slight pullback uh, given our RSI uh a chance to kind of recover and uh, get some of that uh, strength built back up over the course of 30 days uh, this is going to still remain up here uh, for a little bit I believe uh, we we need a bigger pullback than what uh, we were anticipating for this weekend uh, to be able to pull this back which I do see coming you know we've we've been soaring pretty well uh, for a while now so we a pullback is expected. Uh, over on the big, big, uh, over on the Bitcoin MACD. Jeez, OP, to get my words out. We had the bullish cross uh, over here on the 11th. Uh, so we're just still watching that play out. Uh, so we we are showing uh, bullish momentum as far as the MACD is considered. However, over on the Bitcoin Stochastic, we are just seeing the uh, the bearish cross as well as being really uh, overbought right now. We're, we're over this 80 line, which is indicative of being overbought. Uh, so this is kind of both of these really are kind of forward looking uh, indicators. Uh, so as we did see our bullish cross back on the 11th now that we're just seeing 
the stochastic on the opposite end of the spectrum with a bearish cross, that's something to maybe start looking at over on our MACD to see if this looks like it's going to start curling around uh, to get another cross back in the opposite direction. So something to look forward going into Monday. Over on the average price, higher highs, higher lows. The on balance volume over the past uh, week or so really picked up. Uh, I would be looking for a pretty big uh, size dump onto the market. Uh, all this Bitcoin getting moved onto exchanges tells me that people are going to be looking to unload. Why else would you move it on there? And that kind of unload is what what type of situation we'd be looking to really help pull that daily RSI down, you know, over more of that long-term 30-day uh, outlook. So the average directional movement index, we are showing a trend strength of 36. Anything over 25 is showing some sort of trend. So at 36, you know, this is the strongest trend that we've seen uh, over the past 30 days. The ultimate oscillator nearing the overbought area. However, we are still still in those 60 area. Remember, we were around in the 50s for about a week and a half or so and then jumped up into the 60s and we're still currently over in that area, over on the parabolic stop and reversal. Now, we do have 10, I believe. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and count them, 10 straight uh, printed buy signals underneath our candles we do have i just actually caught this this is a spinning top candle this last green one right here that type of candle is uh that shows indecisiveness in the in the market uh, basically you have equal amounts of buying pressure as well as selling pressure where you just your candle ends up looking like this uh, you know, old school spinning top. A lot of times, not always, but a lot of times when you see that kind of indecisiveness in the market in the form of that candle, it'll show uh, a reversal coming. And, you know, as you, you, you know, actually back here, you know, you've got a, a spinning top candle here as well, uh, or here as well. You know, so it doesn't always happen and it doesn't always uh, signal a perfect reversal. However, you know, you've got 10 straight buy dots. Uh, printed on your stop and reversal and we are now seeing a spinning top candle so let's see if in the next day or two this pops over to uh, an over the top candle which is your sell uh, so something that we'll check in on and follow up with probably monday is the next day that we'll follow up with bitcoin the fibonacci retracement uh, you know, you've got your spinning top candle here. So this possibly has topped out as far as this uh, trend. So if that is the case on Monday, we can uh, then revisit this and look at uh, where we would expect a retracement to come into. The Hikaki, the last thing that we had seen was our uh, confirmed bear. And the Kopak curve is still just kind of dancing around uh, barely above that zero line. So normally, even now, if we do cross, it probably won't be a super aggressive move. But, I mean, that's that's not 100% either. Uh, looking down at the historical, we are sitting just above 92% accuracy over the past seven days. So super solid there. And that will do it for today's video, everybody. Really appreciate you stopping in. If you got anything of value from this video, make sure you smash that like button. Leave a comment. Let us know you were here. And while you're leaving that comment, go ahead and let us know what altcoins you have interest in because we will also be doing some technical analysis on uh, some altcoins in the very near future as well as the Genie Range Report also including them in their new upcoming report as well as some other pretty powerful updates as well, which is a great reason to go ahead and jump into that link and visit the range report to get that two week free trial as well as the 10% off thereafter. And we're going to leave the video there. We'll catch you folks tomorrow at the Ethereum update. Catch you then.